Hi, welcome back. Have you ever wondered why your child is working just as hard as any other student, seems to know all the facts, but just cannot perform during tests and exams? Does your child seem to do her homework much better than how she actually performs during exams? Trust me, you are definitely not alone. Lots of parents, even most parents, and even some teachers are confused as to why their children or students seem very well prepared and yet cannot get the results that their hard work deserves. Today, I will share some main differences between the practices of students who are able to perform and those who are not, despite working just as hard. It's not a mystery. There are reasons for this, and it involves two main stages. One, the preparation stage, which are the months that come before the actual exam, and two, the day of the actual exam itself. The first stage, the preparation stage, can be found in this video. Studying hard, but no results. Here's why and what to do. I will be covering the second stage today, which is the actual exam stage. This includes the day before the paper and the day of the actual exam itself. I will be sharing how your child can overcome these challenges by adopting certain practices and habits and finally get the results that they deserve. Allow me to briefly introduce myself. I'm Benjamin author of 18 math guidebooks found in major bookshops. I'm also the personal tutor to more than 2,500 students over the last 20 years. Many of my students have gone from borderline to top students by using the same methods that I'm about to share with you to achieve those results. I will be using the word tests to represent all forms of tests, exams, and assessments. Exam hack number one. Be very familiar with the structures, requirements, and timings of each section months ahead. To find out how to prepare for this, please watch the video I shared earlier. Studying hard but no results. Here's why and what to do. Knowing what to expect will save precious time and removes anxiety. This brings us to exam hack 2. Complete the most familiar and confident questions first. Why? Because it will build confidence. It's like insurance. Knowing that these marks are already in the pocket means that everything else is just about getting an even better result. At all costs, Avoid doing these well-prepared questions at the end, in a hurry and in the process, making lots of mistakes because too much time was spent on the unexpected questions. A second reason is that it will get these questions out of the way to allow the mind to focus on the unexpected questions which will take time. This takes us to exam hack Number three, focus only on your test paper. This means never looking around to see how others are doing. Why? If others are struggling, there is a tendency to get complacent. And if others seem to be doing better than you are, there is a tendency to worry and this creates mistakes. Oh. The thing to remember here is that how others do have absolutely nothing to do with your results. If you are prepared, you got this. Just trust yourself. Exam hack. Number four. Highlight clearly what to return to. Make big, bold markings on questions and pages so as not to have to worry about forgetting them. Come back to these questions 
after you have finished the ones that you are most confident with, at all costs. Avoid getting stuck with trying to perfect the answer. Come back to these questions later. Go and get those marks that you worked so hard for first. Exam hack number five. Always be fully prepared with the calculators, instruments, and whatever you need for the paper. If possible, bring two calculators and two of everything else. Do not let a failed battery or a spoiled pen slow you down, or all the hard work will go to waste. Even if you are able to borrow, which may not be possible, it will mean that precious time would have been wasted. Exam hack number six, just the right amount of sleep the night before the paper. Not too little, but also not too much because it will lead to drowsiness and mental slowness. Definitely get the right amount of sleep needed to make sure that the mind is refreshed. There is a lot of scientific evidence that approximately 8 hours of sleep is essential for peak performance. Do not revise late into the night worrying that you might forget. Have flashcards ready way in advance to glance through just before the test. And this brings us to exam hack number 7. Flashcards! Every top student knows the importance of this and has it prepared months in advance. As the last revision before sitting for the paper, it has to be short and quick to read. For example, in math, it should include formulas, common mistakes to avoid, and exam strategy. And finally, exam hack number eight, stay relaxed. Listen to some light music or read something funny, laugh a little bit before the test. Being anxious, tense and nervous leads to careless mistakes, poor memory recall and even mental blocks. This is a personal tip I use to relax myself as I tend to tense up before tests and exams. I will tell myself that I'm doing a practice instead of a test. There's some make-believe here, but this mind trick has allowed me to relax and perform. For a summary of these 8 exam hacks, please see this post in my Instagram page found in the description below. If you found this useful, remember to subscribe to watch my other videos which were created to help parents motivate their children to excel. And please share this with your friends who need help motivating their children just like you. And if you're serious about your child's future, call or WhatsApp me at the number found in the description below to have a chat with me to help your child score and excel while studying less. I'll see you again.